Hey guys, Zach D. Entrepreneur here. So glad you're tuning in with us. And I don't know how you found this channel, but you know, make sure you subscribe if you like what you hear. But look, thank you for being here. Welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to talk about effort versus reward. Now, this is a crucial concept I needed to learn in business. See, in life, I was a wrestler. I grew up wrestling, and I kind of understood a little bit of this because I wrestled. But um, in business, in, in the real world, right, in my career, I just traded hours for dollars and I would trade one hour and I would get X amount of dollars and there was no surprises, right? I knew exactly how many hours I needed to make to make the or work to make the amount of money I needed to make and there was no pleasant surprises or there was no philosophy that needed to be made. It was just black and white and that's how it was. But in life, I wanted to make money while I was sleeping or working and I wanted to make money because I seen entrepreneurs that were financially independent, that had a lifestyle second to none. They took their family on vacations all over the world, and they were always making money. Their money was making money for them. So, But before their money was making for them, they actually had to learn this concept. And me too. See, in wrestling... I got all these biggest heart awards. You know, I wrestled since junior high and then high school, but I was never really a good wrestler. I just worked hard. I put a lot of effort in. And the first few years I wrestled, I always got the biggest heart award, right? You know what that means. That means the guy who worked really hard but didn't get any results. That was me. But then my senior year, I actually was ranked number seven in state. And that's the great result that I ended up having because I kept on putting effort. But then in business, I had to learn the same concept that I had to put in effort in my business and I'm not going to get very many results or rewards until I continue to put more and more effort in. So this is the concept I wanted to draw out for you. I learned this about seven, eight years ago from a mentor at a seminar. Uh, and then the concept actually came up again in the compound effect. And in the compound effect, it kind of shares uh, by Darren Hardy. This book is actually signed by Darren Hardy. It's kind of great, right? Uh, my mentor, given uh, he gifted that book to me as a gift. And if you have people that you're looking uh, to influence or to help take to the next level, make sure you're gifting them books. It's the greatest gift you could give somebody is your books. Uh, so look, the compound effect and what my mentor taught me about seven years ago developed this idea called effort versus reward. So look behind me. There's multiple levels here. Okay, Until you get all the results, you're going to have to put all the effort in. So understand, here's how it works. The first step is the startup phase. This is maybe when you're learning a lot but you're not getting a lot of results or rewards this is when you're you're doing a lot of effort but you're not getting much of anything maybe you're putting together a plan maybe you're you're meeting with lawyers maybe you're uh, determining who you're gonna work with uh, maybe you're figuring out what gym you're gonna go to and you're kind of doing your research there but maybe you're just fig figuring out what diet plan you want to get on or maybe you're trying to figure out how you're gonna build your relationship with your family um, and, and you're kind of in that phase where you're researching 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 and you're just putting it all together you're not getting very many results or rewards but y but you are putting a lot of effort but then the next phase is gonna be the grinding phase once it's started and once you have the paradigm shift this is where you're gonna grind you're gonna grind and grind and grind you're gonna make phone call after phone call after phone call you're gonna be you're grinding so much that you don't have time for anything else it's either get out of my way or jump on and that's how it's gonna work here you're gonna be doing meeting after meeting after meeting you if you're in the gym and you're you're in a sport you're gonna be doing three day practices you're gonna be practicing three times a day you're gonna be doing a 90 day game plan you know maybe that's where you're just you're grinding and, and that's the phase where you're grinding a lot you're putting a lot of effort but you're getting very little results and rewards but understand that you are getting rewards and you're getting a little taste of what's to come. Don't stop there. The next phase is building. Maybe this is where you're building leadership, building confidence in you. Maybe you're building a pipeline. Maybe you're, um, you're, you're in a business and you're just in the building phase where you're building rapport with people. Um, you know, or maybe you're, you're in the process of going to the gym, but you're also building a new workout routine, right? On top of your starting workout routine. So, so this is the phase where you're starting to get the same amount of rewards as you are getting uh, effort or the same amount of rewards as the effort as you're putting into. So this is the first step where you're starting to see, oh, okay, I'm putting X amount of effort, but I'm actually getting X amount of re rewards. And it's a good place to be in, but it's not the place you want to be in. It's just a glorified employee. Look, if you started a business and you wanted to be an entrepreneur, you wanted to make money whether you're working or not. In the building phase, you still got to work. 
you got to work hard still. Okay, that's just a, a job. And if you started a business and then you stop at the building phase, just just quit and then go get a job, because <laughs> that's that's what that is. Okay, so the next phase is going to be the comfort zone. Now look. The comfort zone is where you have the paradigm actually shift, and this is the first time you actually discover you're putting little efforts or you're putting, uh, you're getting more rewards than the amount of effort that you're putting in. So this is a good spot because you're starting to see success as an entrepreneur. You're starting to see more rewards than the effort you put into. So this is a great spot to be in, but it is the comfort zone, and the comfort zone is the dead zone. See, sometimes when you get the six pack, you stop going to the gym less. See, sometimes when you hit that comfort zone in business, you stop reading less or you stop doing the things that you originally did. So I encourage you guys to keep putting effort into because if you look at the next phase is the wealth zone and you got to get uncomfortable to get comfortable. So just understand that the comfort zone is there to deceive you and to stop you from getting to the pinnacle of success, and that's the wealth zone there. So at that level, you're going to put very little effort in, but you're going to get all the rewards every reward. And that's where you want to be. See, I joined entrepreneurship because I wanted to make money whether I was working or not. I wanted to make money whether I was with my family or if I was on vacation with my family. I want to build ministry but still be making money because my money was making money for me. And I didn't want to have to be strapped down to any job or financial institution. I wanted to be able to live my own life. And The wealth zone is where it's at. That's where you start to feel that you have complete control. So I'm so excited I got to share this information. And my mentor used to talk about the Chinese bamboo tree. Understand this. The Chinese bamboo tree, it has to be planted and it has to be watered for five years. Okay, for five years, it doesn't even sprout the ground. But after that five years, it sprouts the ground 100 feet. 100 feet in six weeks it grows. Now, understand this. Business and in life kind of works similar to that. You're going to have to water your priorities. You're going to have to give nutrients to the areas in life you care about, your your spiritual life, your family life, your health, and your finances. You're going to have to continue to put effort, okay, and then you're going to get the results. So don't just start it, okay, don't just grind, don't just build, and don't just get comfortable, but get yourself in the wealth zone. So you can have all the results for you and your family. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you got value out of this information, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below, question, comment, concern. We want to connect with you on that level. Thank you so much. And you guys have a great day.